um, normally I used to pick my son at the lobby. I used to have him, now I don't have him. So I have to drag him to the car park. Every time going to classes, it's a nightmare. He'll throw himself at home, so I have to like school him and drag him and throw himself on the floor. And there's like a lot of people looking at him, and drag him, drag him, drag him, drag him. But sometimes it's like, you know, his hand also will have scars and pulling and all that. Then going inside the car and all, okay. Once he reached the therapy hall, oh, he's fine. He's having a super fight. He's giving a hard time coming out. And then after that, go back again. Then I used to bribe him. Bribe him five times, or six times. Before. When I come to the father, it's automatically. Ah, what's it? What is that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I play it, it's a secret. Gina, you love it, honey one. We always talk about positive behavior modeling, right? So showing your kids the good behaviors from videos. Sometimes videoing them crying, and then um, we're doing them when they're good and showing them, hey, this is, and then you like can share with the therapist, like, hey, you see, this is Ethan when he goes with daddy, good behavior, right? But sometimes he cries, so you know, then maybe you can negotiate with the therapist. I think he understands. Thank you. 